So I'm just going to pick up where the last video left off because I'm kind of not done ma uh, mumbling to myself. When, when I'm, I'll, I'll stop doing, I'll stop for the night when I um, can I have nothing else to say to myself. I kind of have to pee though, which I should have. Yeah. I do I want to piss while recording? I will, fuck it. Finish this bottle of acai, blueberry, pomegranate, um, Kirkland signature brand vitamin water. Alright, go piss. So, uh, alright. Oh, I don't want to play as the Turks. I just realized that. God, I want to play as the Brits. Fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. No, I actually have a funny story about pissing bottles. This is actually really fucking gross as well. So, when I was in eighth grade, uh, took me until like it took me a couple years. It took me until I was about a freshman in high school to uh, the mass sweaty freshman in high school to get over like seriously start getting over my fear of the dark because I still am kind of scared of the dark. I'm fucking, I'm gonna man up and fucking admit that I'm scared of the dark. It's fucking scary. Alright? Scared of it and what's in the fucking dark. You don't know if a goddamn fucking homeless man with a hard on, with a shank made out of a fucking plastic bottle, is so gonna jump you and stab you in the middle of the goddamn night. <sighs> Out of breath and talking so much shit. You don't know that. Take it in a plane, I'll get to explain. Oh, bomber, bruh. You don't know that. So. Yeah, this thing is really fucking loud. My god, I'm jumping out of this fucking thing. I'm gonna paratroop. What's this enemy aircraft? Which, ow. Uh, are you fucking. <laughs> okay? Did <laughs> I. I'm still alive, how? Alright, anywho. So it took me a while to get over my fear to deck. But, I. So I used to piss in bottles a lot, just like I did right now. Um. I still I do it sometimes. I pour them out. <coughs> I go off my deck and pour them out. Uh, but but I had this two liter Coke that I had I kept in my closet for like a couple months, a couple weeks. I decided to put it out um, on my deck in the heat of like early November. And the thing is, if you live in the Midwest, Illinois. You know that November is still technically summer. It's fucking weird. So I, I put this bottle left out, and it got like a nasty bro It looked like beer, like, and that's, that's that's why I say beer tastes like piss, and it looks like piss, because it literally is. <clears throat> My piss was fermented. It probably had an alcohol content of like fucking three thousand if you drank it. It smelled fucking putrid. It's sm it smelled like fucking eggs. All right, I cannot describe and. Just enough how fucking bad this piss smelled, okay? I cannot, all right? This piss was so bad. If someone walks in, this is gonna be very fucking bad. I'm gonna keep it in the recording, though. I'm not gonna cut that shit out, <clears throat> quite frankly, because I don't know how to cut shit out properly yet. I'm still learning the ropes of video editing, you know, my nigga. Someone just got glicked. <clears throat> but anywho, um, so this piss smells so bad, like you couldn't imagine it, all right? Alright, we had this friend Jake. We have this friend Jake. He's kind. Of, he's kind of weird nowadays. He doesn't really uh, talk to us much. You kind of have to talk to him, and he's he's this group chat. We were all in the four of us, and he only texts when he either needs something or he just wants to say something. He's really dumb. The most like conversation I've gotten out of him over the past two years was probably. Back in February, I don't know I went off topic, but this is I just gotta do a little background on this guy. Back in February, when uh, there was some protests at my school. But anywho, so I I took so he had, so <clears throat> I'm fucking stumbling a lot. Wow, my friend Colin knew his locker code, 
Because he used his locker for welding, because his locker was on first floor, and Collins is on third, and it was a long walk from... I'm doing really bad right now. I need a shotgun. Also, because I'm talking. <clears throat> um, well, Collins is on third, and Chase is on first, closest to the welding lab. I think this is how it was. I'm not too sure. So, kind of used key stuff in there, so you knew it was code. <clears throat> but Jake had a sweater in there. On, on the bait on the floor of his locker <clears throat> I decided one day I want to piss in his locker so uh, I made it a daily thing but I turned it I made it a daily thing but I was like all right it smells getting too bad <clears throat> so I decided to make it a a um this a weekly thing I would just piss in his locker every Friday and then I'll go to the bus now if I got caught I would probably get expelled for school because Fucking Dean would be like, <coughs> like hey, Stop! What are you doing in that locker? What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop away from the locker! Stop the locker! It's in my one inch punch and be mortified. And it's like, what? that's why this locker smells so bad. But going back to the two liter, so I took the two liter one day, I had it in my backpack, and this thing was full to the brim, right? And the, the label was sun bleached. Because it was, you know, the November heat still of it being a little warm out in November for some fucking reason. And, um, this is 2019, 2020. This is probably... It, I guess the November 2019. Alright. But... I took the bottle, put it on my backpack... And I crouched down, I opened, the locker's open, I crouched down, I started pouring it, you know, I just kind of held it over a locker, I kind of held it down on the sweater. And these two guys who me and Colin weren't really friends with were just watching. And I'm looking away, I'm looking for a teacher or something like that, you know, check the coast is clear. And as I'm pouring it, you know, I'm probably maybe halfway down the bottle. I, uh, I didn't, I didn't really expect it to start leaking through, I was really stupid. I didn't expect it to... You start leaking through, you know, because the lockers, you know, have holes in the bottom of them. Or, you know, it's just liquid and it's in a space that, you know, not going to be contained for a long. But I inspected the leak and they're like, there's two other beaners right there. And they're like, yo, man, what the fuck? And look, and the piss is leaking out. This, it smelled so fucking bad. It smelled so goddamn bad. Fucking putrid, all right? It's the word to describe it. I already went over how bad it smelled. But. <clears throat> After the gross story, I said current going on after this one, but after I after I pissed, after I poured it in, I just kind of threw the bottle on the ground because it was empty. But I just kind of threw the bottle on the ground, slammed the locker, and we ran out. I'm so glad they have any of it because I had any of it on me, I would have smelled. I, they would have knew they would notice me because they smelled like I would smell like like cat piss. A really bad pee. Yeah, duck hunt with a shotgun. Yeah, shoot the plane. It's good AA. AA. -A. But, yeah, and they said that his locker, the, the janitors in the school, you know, put a, his sweater and all this stuff in a bag. And they said they had it in the office, and they said that his locker was leaking something. And he said that he never went to get that sweater. <laughs> so, the school either has that black sweater... That I think said, um, our school's welding, I'm not saying my school fucking name, uh, our school's welding, or it was just a black, like, Nike or Adidas sweater or something like that. I can only imagine what the poor janitor had to go through was smelling that. I really wish Jake would have picked up that sweater from the office and looked at it and be like, it smells like pee. I can't kill Jesus. Could have killed the fucking guy. And it smelled like piss and he touched it or he tried to put it on or something like that because he thought it was just water and it's piss and he, he put a j uh, jacket on my fucking by a, a month and it was it just went on for a month a month of my piss so yeah one second oh, I gotta do a wrap logical tape on the aux this is gonna snap one day and I'm gonna be out of mic and it's gonna be great I'll go back to my old one that sounds like fucking dog shit. But here's another really gross story. I'm not gonna lie, I have a bit of a problem, alright? So... 
This one is necessarily it's it's about cum, okay? I I I, I relieve myself. I pleasure myself sometimes, right? It's been a daily occurrence for the past two weeks. I've been I've been kind of stressed out, all right. Now I think you see the oh you no know, final week of school stressed out finals was pretty fine. I wasn't stressed out from finals. I give two fucks about finals, you know. I was probably a little stressed out because of chemistry. I almost failed chemistry. It was like a 70, 71 point something in that class. No, that's not failing. That's a C, but it's really close to the D. And I'm, I'm trying to leave early next year. So getting a D in one class probably would have not been good. I got a bunch of A's, two B's, and a couple and like one C. Actually, two C's. So I'm pretty happy this year with myself. I did pretty good this school year. But anyways, so this this last like maybe two and a half weeks, I've just been jerking off almost every day. And I just heard someone get stabbed. And fucking uh well I have this towel now you see you see I, you, know, you already know where this is fucking going, okay? Uh, I I I I Jesus. I apologize for the story. Alright. This fucking top I've had this towel for like a month now. T maybe two and a half no, not two and a half, one and a half month. Alright. I don't know when I grabbed it. Okay, but I I I probably because when I jerk off, I lay straight on my back, I lay the towel on my stomach, wummy, and I jerk off and I bust on the towel, you know, and then I take my dick, you know, and I you know do all the I do the cleanup process to it, you know, and well, I haven't changed the towel or cleaned it at all. And I stuff it at the back of my bed where it's actually kind of moist back there. And it gets when it gets when it gets hot, it gets moist back there. And when it gets cold, it gets really cold. That's basically a fucking fridge. And that reacts with the temperature. And I think oh most houses do though. That area reacts to temperature a lot for some fucking reason. I don't know why. I don't know if there's a vent back there or something like that. That's a little sus, there's a vent back there. But <laughs> still. Um this towel's been there for a while, and I, I looked at it today, because I, I did my dirty deed today. Um, and I, I said to myself, if there's a singular black or like spot on this thing, a black speck or spot on this thing, I'm I'm fucking personally gonna scrub this thing with bleach. Good thing there wasn't, but whenever I think of the towel, it's, it's just sitting back there behind underneath my bed. I think of that, the sound, it's like. It's been a year, Daddy, and I really, really miss you. Mommy says you're someplace happy now. That is beautiful, filled with angels and rainbows, or some shit like that. <laughs> the audio is about this TikTok sound. That TikTok sounds about fucking uh, little girl. Um. Talking about her dad who died on 9 was a firefighter. So <laughs> this is this it's been a year, Daddy. And I <laughs> really, really miss you. So yeah, I apologize for these gross ass stories. They're funny. Do I want to keep going to the end of this round? Is the real fucking question though? Because I'm not having an easy time. Hey, I, I, I thought fucking. I fuck with it, bro. I fuck with it. I fuck with it. I fuck with it. I fuck with it. I should talk about the battle we're in. So this is the battle of uh, this is this is the battle of the, well, actually Operation Gallipoli, 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 however you want to pronounce it. This involved. This is one of the first major operations that British ANZAC forces were involved in. So you know, and British Crown Colony forces. We had you know, Australia, New Zealand, India, and you know, basically everywhere else the fucking British Empire controlled. Um, involved in this, you know, there's of course some British troops, most of them being officers and other leaderships, musician, but mostly Australians and New Zealanders. But so this is typically 1915. But this campaign was led by um, future Prime Minister Winston Churchill, who was Prime Minister of Britain during World War Two, who is probably one of the reasons why that we 
no, you know, in America we speak English, and British and Britain they speak English and French. They speak French. In France, in France they speak French. Probably one of the main reasons why, because his, you know, we the person he succeeded, was, uh, oh Neville Chamberlain, was a fucking pussy who wanted to surrender to the Germans. But we're talking about World War One, not World War Two. I should probably do a video on me just talking about well, history. Probably not. I'd probably fucking be dog shit. But anywho, this campaign was a shit show because see that boat that kind of had a Trojan horse, and before they were gonna launch their attack, they ended up doing a massive bombing. They did this multiple times. They ended up doing a massive naval bombardment, which let the Ottomans know that they were attacking. Because if you just kind of launch a bayonet charge, you know, and you're in your trench or in your, like, your fucking, you know, dugout, you know, you're not going to be, you know, prepared fast enough. Or you're not going to have, they're going to have time to repair, but it's not fast enough, you know, when you have a naval bombardment that you wait to finish up that takes like 12 to 15 minutes and shit like that. And then you, Jesus, fuck. And then you fucking, you know, you send troops after, you know. That's a great idea. So their element surprise is fucked for most of it. We have lost objective apples. And this fucking a really cool thing, as they said at the end of the campaign. Of and this, um, if the British would have taken Gallipoli, they could have pushed on butter. into Turkey and probably, you know, conquered Turkey and had more of the world you know than they already had under control. Why am I such a shit shot? I used to be so good with this rifle. Oh my god, bro. He's level he's level 10. Level 0 support gunner. I fucking died to him. I'm level I'm level 35 36 scout. Well, let's use a saw more. Go with the fucking trench carbine. But if the British would have managed to do this, we could have been landing, you know, massive, massive amounts of allied troops. Fuck me, Ugh, son of a bitch. Could have been landing massive amounts of allied troops in the uh, in, in Eastern Europe, in the Balkan area, and because those aren't really controlled. Well, they were controlled by Austria-Hungary, but Austria-Hungary was dog shit during World War One. So. We could the British and the Brits, French, and you know, and the British is, uh, you know, crown colonies could have uh, probably taken, taken and wiped out the Austrians. Of course, the Germans probably would have sent, but it is estimated that with how weak the Austrian lines were in the Balkans and in Eastern Europe, that the war could have been shortened to about a couple months. But the war then dragged down for another three years. So it's just it's just fucking crazy to think that if this operation didn't fuck up, we wouldn't have <clears throat> we wouldn't have designs such as like tanks super early because tanks came they rolled out in 1916 during the Battle of the Somme. So yeah, we probably had the tanks in the post-war era, which tank designer in the post-war era was fucking glorious. But yeah, I'm the officer. Take this one. So, cool thing about if Gallipoli was, you know, this was actually successful, if they would have, you know, taken the, the beachhead and they t actually secured the beachhead, but they couldn't push on more. Um, they are caught up in just the uh, Ottomans being in, you know, dug in, in territory that they were familiar with. And that with many people were native to the area, so the, they just <clears throat> kind of like the Americans in Afghanistan, you know, just you find an enemy in a territory that they've grown up on, you know, for decades of their life and that they're familiar with, you know. It's fucked up thing. So they pulled out. Winston Churchill was demoted. He was like, like um, admiral. Something. He was. He was not admiral. Admiral, but he was. Some kind of ranking in that area that had a lot of authority and you know that could you know, order troops around and you know move mad move battalions of men into battle. He had that kind of position. Kind of like kind of fucking shit. Kind of like field marshal. Kind of like a field marshal, but higher in, in the navy. 
So, cool to think about. It did all that shit would have fuck it. This shit would have went right. Yeah, it would. World War One had dragged down for so long, and we probably wouldn't have had World War Two because of all the massive damages. It seems that was the, that's only in 1950s. I mean, World War's been going on for about a year at that point, so it's only you know, a couple million dollars in damage that Germany could easily pay it off. And Germany still had the money and willpower to fight, though. So, yeah, who knows about that? Crazy shit. Theories on all this fucking cool stuff. It's amazing. I love discussing shit. And that's why I always feel bad for my friends because I like they'll say one thing about like World War Two or D Day, and I'm like, oh yeah, did you know that? You know, did you know this about this? You know this guy? Yeah, yeah, you know it's cool shit. Yeah, man, you know you totally look this up or you read the shit on Wikipedia. You know, yeah. Cool fuck goes on Wikipedia. I do because Wikipedia is fucking awesome and is not a bad source to use. It actually, is really good. This thing is, if you use Wikipedia. It logs your IP address, which means they can find where the fuck you live. So if some, if Jesus, if a nerd is really mad that you like, you know, decide to get drunk on Saturday night and change the size of Arkansas on the U.S. map, you know, they can find your IP address and go fucking stab your ass. If they're that mad that you change the size of Arkansas. By the way, what the fuck happens in Arkansas? Does anyone even live there? Something like Wyoming. <clears throat> I was playing Battlefield talking about Wyoming. That's ironic. This campaign's going for a really long time. I might have to cut this short right here. I did say I was going to stop when I stopped blabbling on. Fuck, I really want one of these little pea shooter guns. I think it shoots, I think it takes nine millimeter. <clears throat> it's German, so. Something like that, who knows? I don't know. Maybe 380. Listen, the 380 is nine millimeter short. I'm sure they're nine millimeter. Look at that sunset, though. That's a really nice sunset. The sun never sets in the British Empire. Yo, oh, fuck the Glock. Yeah, we we in the trenches, motherfucker. Look, my character's black. Oh man, I got gunned down. Hey, rip my homie. He did nothing wrong. How low my baby, my baby, low my baby. I nursed him with these load. Why load? We have lost objective butter. My dumb ass really thinks I'm to the piss story and the um <laughs> cum towel story. Give me that. Faggot took. I got scared. Oh. Yeah, I think we're gonna end this off here.